Hello and welcome back, as always, my name is Laser, and today we're back in MXM, and as I promised you guys, we will do a full game, a full 5v5 on the Titan Ruins map, and this is it, okay, this is the cornerstone of the game, or at least that's what the developer claims, the selected masters I have, one is uh, Kagnazor, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, sorry, he's a bit of a bruiser, okay, an utility bruiser, that's why he's... I see him to be and the other one is MBA07 which is a long range bombardment uh, marksman bot and this is him right got a lot of range okay you bombard from afar and he does tremendous amounts of damage well at least it appears to be tremendous amounts of damage anyway this specific game has been holding my attention for the past couple of days and with good reason it combines or tries to combine elements from multiple genres from a MOBA from a hack and slash from a no uh, even from MMOs. Okay, and that's first blood, by the way, for us. Just saying. Uh, I gotta keep my range. Sh sh shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna change and turn around. This is my bruiser. I call him Punky. Uh, hook! Come back here. Play with Punky. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump. No, I'm not gonna jump. His E ability is a jump, which will stun. That's why I meant when I said I wanna jump. Anyway, so we lost a bit of HP on our assault bot there, and we're gonna go in and start hitting on these minions. Uh, last hitting the minions will give you points, and points are very important. Here's somebody from behind. Damn it, there's two of them from behind. Still not a kill. I gotta go for a stun. Okay, did manage to get the stun. Pop the heal. And I'm gonna change to my assault bot now and try to go for an ulti. Let me see if I can snipe somebody. You're going there, right? Boom! Come on, keep going there. Boom! One more, one more, one more. Boom, gotcha! Don't worry, the ultimate ability of this little bot is on a pretty short cooldown. God damn that rubber band effect. You can't run, bruh. You die now. You see all the lags? Yeah, this is the biggest issue I have had with the game, but we'll talk about that later. So, I wanted to tell you that you can win this map in three different ways. Way number one, destroy the enemy team score, right? Clear to the point, the... Same old, destroy the core, yeah, you get it, good. So the second way is that the timer runs out. As you can see at the top of your screen, the matches count down from 30 minutes. At the end of the game, the team with the higher amount of points will win. Uh, do I have any traits? Nope, no traits at this point. I'm gonna go back to lane. Or the final way to win the game is if one of the team reaches 1,000 points. If that happens, that specific team wins the game. And, well, that's pretty much it, okay? So three ways to win a game. Normally, you win a game by destroying the team's score, but I have won games by acquiring points, and I have lost games uh, by uh, running out of time and having lower points than the enemy team. I love this little bombardment guy. He's just so cool. Oh, you changed. He changed so he doesn't die. Will that save you? Let's find out. <laughs> hooks! Hooks! E bombardment! I'm gonna go for a stun! Oh! You cannot get away, we are so bruiserish. This guy has this guy has Cognazo too, and that's gonna be a kill, my kill, obviously. Good job, brah. You and me make a wonderful team, don't you know? Okay, now back to lane clearing. Uh, the game is pretty action-packed. There is a lot going on, okay, during a game. Uh, if you look on your minimap, the jungle contains uh, creeps, okay, it contains monsters. Most of them, the wardens, give you buffs. Different buffs, different powerful buffs. There's also two very specific altars, uh, which are guarded by two big mobs. If you capture that one, a big old hero will appear and start pushing down the lane. Much like in Heroes of the Storm, when you capture mercenaries, okay, they push down the lane. So, these, uh, so do these two guys. There are two of these, one on the top lane and one on the bottom lane. And this is one of them. See this Ruark kind of guy? Yeah, he's been captured on the bottom lane by the enemy team. Okay, they defeated the Guardians. Now Ruark is pushing down the lane and he's pretty potent. You can't ignore these guys, otherwise you're gonna lose the match. You get points for all sorts of things. For destroying uh, minions, okay, for uh, capturing, or better said, killing uh, jungle creep and so on and so forth. You gotta be careful here. You cannot ignore minion damage, just saying. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? We have a Titan. I'm gonna switch to my long range assault kind of guy. I'm gonna get the advantage because actually the vertical advantage really matters a whole lot. Going on ulti. Boom, baby. Boom. The more in the center they are, the more damage they will take. Just saying, okay? So the more in the center of the explosion, the more damage these guys will take. Just a second. Where are you guys going? You guys going this way? Yeah, I thought so. Gonna still bombard upon them. I'm guessing you're going that way. Come on, how much HP can you have left? My ulti is ready, but this would be a kind of a bad position, and I'm kind of running low on HP. I want to jump on somebody, I really do. But right now I'm kind of taking a pounding. Gonna activate my heal over time. That's my additional spell, my C. It's called the uh, recovery pulse. Hmm. 
Oh, they have one too. Crap, they have one too. Ouchie! That's the... Oh, crap! And I switched exactly at the wrong time. I'm gonna stay in the back. Pop my ultimate ability and start bombarding on the enemy there, uh, Titan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. T stay there just a little while longer. Did I get it? I don't think I did. Gotta switch back. 15 seconds between switches, by the way. I'm, I'm too low on this one. Retreat? Why retreat? No retreat. Oh, you are in deep shit. That's why you wanna retreat. Do not worry, I will assist you, for I am a nice guy. You running that way? Jump on you. You are dead now. Thank you very much for the kill. By the way, there's this gate here, which you need to destroy to get an ac quick access to the lanes. So I see you destroy the thing. I think they regenerate at the point, but I forgot the regeneration conditions. Oopsie. Uh, Titan shard. Get the Titan shard. Okay, now run. Don't want to worry. I will cover your escape. See, I will body block you. God damn the lag. So, my friends, this game has been holding my attention for the better part of two days. It's that good. Honestly, the game has tremendous amounts of potential. I have never seen a game trying to combine so many elements of different genres and actually not looking that bad. Again, the potential is here. However, that's not to say that the game doesn't have its issues. The biggest issue I have run into up until this point is the lag. Oh my god. This is an alpha playtest, okay? And it will end in a couple of days, so I'm trying to make the most out of it. I think we have only a day, a day and a half left. And then it will end. But I'm constantly playing with 200 plus ping. I think the servers are in the US. So because the servers are in the US, that means I from Europe and other guys from Europe get insane amount of lag. I My character sometimes disappear for no reason, reappears on the other side of the map. I'm like, like what? What just... What just happened? Uh, skills fizzle out, don't trigger, you know, and other issues like balancing. But again, the game is in development, right? It's in development, so there's plenty of changes to come. We can't really talk balance about a game that hasn't even been launched. But for example, Suzuka can one-shot most heroes. Well, most squishy heroes. Uh, masters, I'm sorry, not heroes, masters. So yeah, there are some issues with the game. It's not perfect, but what I'm saying is that it has huge potential. It has the potential to be the next evolution for MMOs. But then again, is it really an MMO? It's an RPG, it's an MMO, it's a MOBA, and I'll even say it's somewhat of a hack and slash as well. A player can come into this game and just play PvP and he won't have any issue at all, or he can just play PvE and he'll have no issues at all. There are tons of dungeons, tons of zones, tons of stages to clear out on various different difficulties with various different rewards. However, a player, again, if he just wants the PvP aspect, the mobile part of the game, he can just come in and play that and it will be all fine. You are not, you don't have to grind out the PvE aspect of the game, okay? You are not required to do so. All the upgrades you can get through PvE, I'm talking weapon upgrades, skill upgrades, nodes, and so on and so forth, have no effect no effect at all in pvp okay so you can ignore that aspect entirely uh, and the same goes the other way around okay you do not have to pv uh pvp if you just want to pvp oh, oh okay don't worry okay this is one of those altars i was i was talking about all right so to end that little monologue there if you want to pve and just go for the rpg mmo hack and slash part of the game you can do so you are you won't be forced to pvp for stuff which you will need in pve Okay, we got this, and now we gotta press F. See, press F, this huge channel will occur, which is interruptible, and now we will summon Roark, and he will push down the lane. Today, Roark, come out. Ah, bro. Mm. Would have been cooler, NC Soft, if it would have come out of the, the tomb, not just drop from the sky. Just saying, just saying. All right, I'm gonna help him push, because he's pretty potent. Going long range, killer. Boom. Boom. Keep running that way, please. Oh, come on, don't be a spoiled sport. I had you dead to rights. You should have taken. Did I get him? Okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah! Yeah, come on, come on, come on, stay there, stay there. Oh, kill, baby! Where are you going? Damn it, I don't have any more. Is he dead? Okay, we got him. Double kill. Come on. Keep pushing, keep pushing. We're on 250 points, the enemy team on 200 points. Oh, and plenty and plenty of balance issues. Okay, did I mention there's plenty and plenty of balance issues? Yeah, yeah, there are tons of balance issues. But again, I feel we're talking about balance considering this is still in development. Okay, I don't think it's fair. But again, Suzuka can one-shot most squishies and that kind of gets me. No, 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 no! What are you doing, bros? Bros? Yeah, bros! Hmm, I'm going ulti. I'm going super rage form because in super rage form I do extra stuff. And also, I'm immune to crowd control. That guy is dead. Let's try a hook. Got the hook, baby. Got the hook. Although it didn't look like it, it did it. I know. Many times. Shit! Many times. 
Many skills appear not to hit, but they hit. And other times, many skills appear not to hit, but what do you know? They hit. Shit, I'm dead. No, 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 no. <laughs> there goes the my glorious rain. I had four with zero. I was doing so good, too. Anyway. Everybody's level is individual, as you can see. At the base, and only at the base, can you assign these traits. Okay, these traits are pretty straightforward. Weapon attack, argument, skill power, health, argument, cooldown, and you get it, right? Pretty cut to the point. I'm gonna go with skill power, argument for my ultimate ability on this uh, uh, on this little robot guy. This little robot guy is absolutely awesome. Try him out, okay? Long range bombardment, they're never gonna know what hits you. The problem is, in close quarter combat, he's dead meat. Uh, let's go with more... Defense argument for my bruiser. This uh, this guy is called I forget what it's called. I call him Big Pinchy. Okay, Big Pinchy because of the hook ability, and I, I can't pronounce his normal name, so sorry about that. All right, back to lane. Level up some skills. Switch and go in. I should have switched that base because then I wouldn't get the long cooldown. Okay, 324 points for us, 266 for the enemy team. Somebody playing without me. How dare you? Oh, by the way, did I show you the big lizard? I should show you. He grants a lot of points. Oh, I'm going in! I'm gonna help my team. Actually, it would be a whole lot smarter if I do this right now. And start bombarding from afar because I do a whole lot more damage as you can see like this. Let's go in, folks. Let's go. Oh, ho, ho! Go in, go in! See, this is... Well, it's not the big lizard. This is the other guy. This is uh, Incinerator Crin. If you kill this guy, you get tons upon tons of points, which are important. Did I mention that points are important? I should have. Okay, these guys don't want to do it and it's not the kind of thing you want to solo. I also figured out how to unlock the camera. You hold control key, press down. Okay, and when you take your hand off it, it goes away. So you can also do that. I'm still learning about the game, okay? So don't take my opinion as word of law. But I do believe this game has indeed... Um, oh, baby, that stun! Oh, but it should have hit. Did it hit? I'm not sure it did. AoE heals. Oh, oh, it's long cooldown. AoE heals for you guys. Here you go. Where are you going? Where are you going? You dead. Transform into Mr. Bombardi and go long range nukage. That hit. I think that hit as well. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh frick. Sizuka. That's the hero I was talking about. And like I said, my little... Uh, um, what's his name? KBA07 I think. Hold on. What is my name? Yeah, MBA07. MBA07 is pretty bad at close quarter combat. You do have this E ability which will stun uh, anybody on either side of you, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna survive. Anyway, that was my fault. I was focusing on who to bombard instead of... Uh, and I didn't see I was getting attacked. Stupid. I know. Right. You can change the camera with uh, F1, F2, F3, F4, and again, you can unlock it with your control key. And I'm still very much learning, so there you go. Alright, let's go back in. I'm level 11. We got 13, 12 on our team. Pretty good. 4 with 2 and 41 points. I'm doing good in terms of KD and assists. Not doing so good in terms of points. Now, if you look on the minimap, you will see that up in front, there are two Titans battling. So, we definitely should help them out. I want to get the high ground. See the thing with these guy this guy's uh, missiles? His basic attack problem, uh, if you want to call it that. Is the fact that... If it comes in contact with terrain like this, okay, let's say I want to bombard the other side. It's gonna stop, you see, it stops in the wall. So you gotta be careful how you position yourself so your missiles actually go over the terrain efficiently and get to the other side because sometimes that might not be the case. I gotta get that Titan Shard, it's very important. When you get 10 of those, um, when you get 10 Titan Shards, you will be able to spawn a titan in incarnate your team anybody on the team as long as everybody agrees uh i cannot use m i can use my b i did want to say something about the b okay the teleport back it has a 120 second cooldown and i don't get why that is i'm sure there's some uh, design reasons for it but jesus christ that sometimes it really cuts down on the pace there's plenty of action in this game but more action wouldn't hurt would it so, speaking about the high ground and the little robot, here's some high ground, and the enemy titan is attacking. This is a perfect position for me, I'm even gonna unlock the camera. The problem is that with the camera unlocked, I can't fire. See? I cannot fire. Another titan shard, get it to the base, come on, we already got- Oh, we got! We got all we need, we got 10! Okay, so now somebody, uh, if they press D, they can summon a titan incarnate. Okay? 
they can summon a Titan Incarnate and then the whole team gets that message and you can press yes if you agree to summon a Titan Incarnate now or no if you don't agree. Ideally you want to summon a Titan Incarnate when you have a really good push or when you have a really big team fight, okay? That Titan can rip apart from an entire team. He's that good. Yep. No shit. He's that good. Right, I'm gonna go with this guy. Where did you go? Oh, you're going- you wanna- you want us to do that? Okay. Okay, let's do that. Shit, I saw. Oh, he got knocked back and I got stunned. Hey, hey, hey! Fuck. Well... Okay, let's try that one again. Eh. Okay, I can't jump here, but I can jump here. Wait, let me tank it for you. I will assist. No, don't push me off, bruh! Get out of the AoE. Shit. Now, uh... Like I said, the biggest problem I had up until... Oh my god, really? You died? So you can see, it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, I couldn't even dodge that. The biggest problem I had up until this point with the game is the lag. Alright, and now it's not so bad. What do I got now? 199. Oh, watch watch the piranha. The piranha always wants to get you. Ooh, hi. Yeah! Oh, shit. See, again got stopped in the terrain. My jump got stopped in the terrain. Oh, booty. Go, Mr. Monkey Business. Get, try to get a hook. Got the hook. Do the damage. Do the damage. All I need is my stun. Is a stun. Oh, I don't even need my stun. Obviously, it was never even close to it. Wait, wait, Mr. Man. Let me heal you. There you go. And now we're gonna be able to spawn this shit. Bro, press F. See? Like that. And we're gonna summon... I think this is Ruarks or the other guy. Anyway, they look the same and they pretty much do the exact same frame from what I can tell. Here he is. Adaman. Ain't he cool? And he got a big sword because everything in this game has to have a big sword. No big sword, no in this game. It's pretty much as simple as that. Okay, he's gonna secure that as well. Switching to Mr. Bombard. Okay, if we get this push all the way to their base, then we should spawn a Titan Incarnate. So again, if this lag wouldn't be here, God damn it would be so good. Sometimes you just die and you don't know anything that you don't see anything that hit you. No effects, no nothing, you know? No again because of lag. That's a problem, okay? And it makes the game not as... OH SHIT! Not as enjoyable as it could be! Oh god. Oh my goodness gracious. Bye bye Okay, we got a Titan Incarnate pushing. I'm gonna show you the action just as soon as I go back. Okay, let me see that action. Uh, no. There we go. We got a Titan Incarnate up in there. See, he's pushing the core with one of our Titans. And that's gonna be GG. That's gotta be GG. No way they can stop a Titan and a Titan Incarnate in time. And that's gonna be the end of the game. Pretty quick, this one. 18 minutes. At the very least, you're always assured that the game will not last longer than 30. So, what can I say, guys? I am impressed. I am very impressed with this game. Okay, this could theoretically be... The next evolution of a MOBA. Good! Okay, it's way too early to tell. Let me make myself clear. But it does have some serious potential. There are some issues, but normal issues considering it's still pretty early in development. Okay, there's still stuff to iron out, balancing. Uh, the lag won't always be an issue because, again, I'm guessing they're gonna have uh, servers for each region. Okay, AU, US... Uh, Maybe Asia and all whatnot, you know the usual stuff. But that's gonna do it for now. As always, my name is Ben Lazar. Thank you guys for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you again soon.